you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'll be going over the best gold team fantasy packs to be taking in Madden 21. Now, if you guys don't already know, when the game does drop and the pre-order bonuses eventually do drop into the game, you're going to get free gold team fantasy packs based on the edition you took, whether it be the regular, the deluxe, or the MVP edition. Now... As you guys know, this is a big thing every single year. When you get your packs, you could have 4, you could have 10, you could have 20, depending on which one you take. And you always know it comes down to this. Who has the most elites? Who has the best players to take from? Which team should I do? So I'm going to be breaking it down for you guys with my top like 6 teams here. And I'll go over the ones that I'm really going to be doing myself. These are the 6 that I'll be looking at. And I'll tell you the ones that I pretty much decided I'll be doing. So you always want one that has some high elites that are super expensive. Because when you open up these gold team fantasy packs, you have the chance to hit just about anywhere in that pack. And get yourself a banger elite player. Or just some good gold, which you can then use to go complete some, uh, to go work on some team diamonds, or so on and so forth. So, about it. Let's get into the video, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, come join the family, give this video a big thumbs up. As always, guys, can we get 100 likes on another Madden 21 esque video, guys? I appreciate all the likes. You guys have been showing some great support. Let's keep getting our channel back and get the momentum coming again. Well, let's get into it. So, first team we got on the list is the Kansas City Chiefs. Why the Chiefs? Pretty self-explanatory. They are everything you want in a, in a gold, gold team fantasy pack. You got a high variety of elites. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten elites. Not to mention, you have one of the most likely to be one of the most expensive elites in the game. Followed by most likely to be the second most expensive elite in the game. Uh, probably the, one of the highest priced uh, linemen. One of the highest priced DTs. One of the highest priced head ends. One of the highest priced safeties. One of the highest priced kickers. Guys, they have everything. Fullback, everything you can want. Anything you pull here, you can start any player that you're going to pull here. Any player. So, you can only hope that you pull one of them. Issue with other teams like the Rams last year, it's like, oh, I got an elite. It was Nicky Roby Coleman. I don't want him. Nicky Roby Coleman. Here, I genuinely think you can start any player on this list. Any player. And Damian Williams is probably the only guy you probably wouldn't want to start. But he could be a backup or just a day one running back. Chiefs are looking super solid. They got a high variety of leads. I think that so far, it's, I'm leaning towards Chiefs as my top option. Now, I'm going to give you guys six teams because, of course, maybe you don't like the Chiefs. Maybe you don't like these players. There's going to be more players to choose from. But Chiefs, are, I'm leaning towards the Chiefs. So if I get the quarterback, I may just sell him because I will have my Lamar. I may use him. Not entirely sure yet, but I know sure as hell I want Tyreek Hill day one. I want Mitchell Schwartz. I do want Chris Jones. I'll probably want a Travis Kelsey. That's crazy. They made Zach Ertz faster than Travis Kelsey this year. Not that he's not fast in real life. It's just I, It just never happens. Tyron Matthew, going to probably want him on my team day one. Going to want a kicker, whether it be Harrison Bucker or uh, uh, Justin Tucker. Moving on to the next one, guys. We have the Ravens. Why do we have the Ravens? Again, a high variety of elites. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 elites. I feel as though with the more elites there are, there's probably a higher percentage of maybe pulling them versus if you just have a few high ones, you're probably not going to pull anything. I think there's a good chance to hit. You could always get Lamar. Not sure how expensive Lamar is going to be if everyone's getting him for free. Calais Campbell will be super solid. Um, not the best pass rusher for some reason, but he's a great block shedder. Justin Tucker, of course, will be super solid as a kicker. Ronnie Stanley can get some good linemen out of this. A good cornerback. A good safety. You can get a good cornerback again. A good fullback. Some good defensive tackles. Some good outside linebackers. Some good cornerbacks. Like, Ravens are looking super solid. Now, will they be my pick? Probably not because their, their money piece is going to be Lamar. And I don't think he'll go for as much as a guy like Mahomes and Tyreek. Well, I can almost guarantee you he won't. So Ravens are not my top team. It's still leading Chiefs, but again, all good options. Next, we got the Cowboys. The Cowboys feel like, I feel like the Cowboys are on this list every single year just for a high variety of elites. They got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Not as many as the Ravens, but probably some better ones to pull. Zach Martin will probably be one of the most expensive players you could pull in general. Especially, he's a guard. I would love to pull a Zach Martin card. First off, here's the thing. I'd probably sell him if he's going for like 200 k because it's just a smart thing to do. But then again, if you pull him and you get you use him, it's a great value. Not to mention, he's going to be fire. He's going to be so good at the right side of that line. Piece him with the tackle in the center, and you don't even need the left side of the line. Just run to the right. He's going to be great. You can get Zeke, who's looking much better this year than it ever in terms of starting base league cards. We got Amari Cooper, who's looking great as usual. You got Collins. You got Tyron. Or Tyron, no, don't kill me, Zerk. Dak Prescott, Demarcus Lawrence, Chris Jones, Jalen Smith, and the list just goes on. Great options here as well. Then we got the Niners. The Niners, again, a high number of leads. We got three, six, I think I counted that wrong. Three, six, nine, 12. It looks like 13 there. First, we got Kittle. 
Kittle's gonna be super expensive. And this is what I was saying, guys, in my other video when I said that Zach Ertz isn't that slow. Kittle's only an 81 speed, so Zach Ertz is very similar in speed this year. But in terms of that, you can get Sherman, who's a great looking cornerback right about now. 81 speed is usually low, but I've seen Jalen Ramsey at an 83, so I'm not too concerned right now. And he has great coverage stats. George Kittle's looking solid as usual with good run blocking to start the year, which I do like. You got Trent Williams, you got Kyle Juszczyk, you got, uh, don't kill me if I said that wrong, Robbie Gould, Nick Bosa, and so on and so forth, guys. A lot of elites here. Most of them could be starters day one or should be. Now, why won't I pick the Niners? Probably for myself, again, because the Chiefs got Mahomes and Tyreek. It's going to be hard to top that combo. I'm going through the teams I picked, but those two top two is going to be super hard because those, those are money. Like, high price, high high, high demand, and you're going to want to use Tyreek. Like, that's a big one for me. But again, if you're a fan of any of these teams, just go for it. And it doesn't really matter which one you do pick, because at the end of the day, you just want to hit big, whether or not you hit big on this team or the other one. Moving on to the next one, we got the New Orleans Saints, guys. Now, the Saints, honestly, might be the best option. Will I be doing them? I'm not sure yet. Let me go through this real quick. But, like I said, the players I want are in the Chiefs. But look at this. They got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 cards they got michael thomas now the only issue with their high piece michael thomas i don't think will be as expensive as he should be if he was a bit better stat wise but he's still great people are gonna love him power him up 84 speed he's gonna be right up there surprisingly for the first time in a while michael thomas is looking super solid despite his speed he's a good height great route runner great catching guys if you i I'd like if you match him up with tyree kill they're gonna be a tandem you're gonna have to be watching hill deep and then i know where thomas is gonna be making snags all over the field you got, but you got some high overall elites, what I like. It's not just an 88, then like an 83, 84. 86, Toronto Armstrong, they're going to be a top tackle. 86, Ramchick, going to be a top tackle. 86, Jordan, going to be a top end. You still got Drew Brees, who can compete at quarterback. Demario Davis, who's a decent enough linebacker. Thomas Morstead, a good punter. Emmanuel Sanders is a decent receiver. You got Lattimore, who's a speedy budget corner. And then Malcolm Jenkins, who's decent in the box. Marcus Williams, Alvin Kamara, Will Lutz. Saints are, Saints are up there, guys. And then finally, we got the Rams. Why do I have the Rams on here? Pretty simple. They always have the big tickets. They got Aaron Donald, who might be the most, he might be end up being the highest priced defensive player uh, in Madden, because that's usually what he is up there. Then you got Johnny Hecker, who's going to be a solid punter. Do I want a punter? No, but if I get him, I will use him or sell him. Uh, we got Ramsey, who's just, you always want a Ramsey. You power him up 85 speed. You're going to have great speed to start the year, unlike usual. So I really like that. I love having a Ramsey card. Great height, great in the run. Put him next to Aeneas Williams, and you got to tandem already. Uh, Robert Woods, Woodworth. Now, they don't have a lot of elites, but the beauty of them is they have Donald, Ramsey, and Hecker. So, they're more like a, more of a gamble in my opinion. Now, for me, I'm putting Chiefs first. I'm going to put Chiefs first. I'm going to put, probably, I'm going to put the Saints second because they have a lot of big hits. Like, if you see a Saint flight off, you have a pretty, more over half a chance to pull one of these. Coming in, uh, third, let's see, I'm going to put the, ooh, coming in third, I'll probably put the Niners in third. And then I'll probably put the Cowboys in fourth. I'll put the Ravens in. I'll put the Ravens in last. Put the uh, Rams here. Because the thing is, if I get the best player on the Ravens, it's Calais. And he probably goes for like 60K. If I pull the best player in Donald, it's probably 250K. So, guys, my personal opinion here are my rankings. I will be going Chiefs first for a few. And you don't have to do all of them. You can pick some here or some there. But I'll be going Chiefs for the most part. Just you can't, you can't argue the Chiefs. I'll be going Saints second. Looking super great there. I'll be going Niners third. I'll be going Cowboys fourth. Ram, uh, Ram I think guys if you don't know me how I usually open these packs Pull three Chiefs don't hit so well hop over to the Rams hop over to the Niners go back and forth But guys that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy today's Best gold team fantasy packs to choose guys Remember these packs could do you really they could do you dirty They could do you really good the first few days you pull some something good on this This could really set you especially if you no money spent uh, When did the pre-order stuff come out? I got them not entirely sure it could come out during the week could come out the actual day of the launch it really just depends. I never know with the yeah, I don't make promises anymore. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, boys. If you're in the family, give this video a big thumbs up. Smash that like button, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what team you are going to be taking or if I miss any team that you think has better potential than the ones I named. Well, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.